come back from the garden. My peppermint plant's doing awesome, and I decided I was going to cut off some leaves and try to distill some oil. So uh, I wanted to record the process. I only have a few distillations, uh, but I've never done anything with like a leaf, or I've never done uh, like a leafy fragrance. So we'll start by cutting it up. Okay, I've just taken all the leaves off of the stems. Now we're going to blend it up in this food processor, get, get it all cut up, and release some of those oils. Okay, we're properly blended. It smells like a mojito in here. And that is probably as fine as we're going to get. So we'll stick it in and start the distillation. Okay, we've officially begun distilling. I guess maybe not officially because we haven't collected any distillate yet, but this is a um, an alcohol stove or an alcohol burner, and I've got that flame right under all of the chopped up leaves with the water mixture, and as that boils, that will evaporate, and the lighter elements that contribute to the fragrance will condense in this tube up at the top, and then the actual, this is called the condenser, and I've got it running with a makeshift syringe set up, um, so it's actually pumping water up into the bottom, which then fills it to the top and it runs back out, but that keeps the water cool, so this tube will stay a lot colder than the actual tube up at the top, and that will help the oil condense as it, as it reaches that tube. And then we'll put it in this separatory funnel and we'll separate the water from the uh, hydrosol. And uh, we'll boiling. So that's come to a rolling boil. You can see condensate is starting to collect in the tube. So that's a mixture of water and oil, which is called hydrosol. And as it collects up in this part of the tube, and it will drop down into our real condenser where it will cool down. Since it's getting late, I'm going to stop this distillation a little early. We've collected what looks like to be just about 30 milliliters of distillate. So I'm just going to show you uh, how I normally do this. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow, come back and fill that up with more water and see if I can't um, collect any more oil from this, but it's just getting late and I have work early in the morning. So, Okay, so I've got my spirit burner off, now I'm just going to take this hydrosol that we collected, I'm going to put it in my separatory funnel. So before I do that, I'm going to put one of these collecting bottles, courtesy of mi madre, under there. And this is a little tricky to do with one hand, but we can do it. I had to switch out the beakers when I noticed that it was leaking from there. I busted the uh, handle off a couple weeks ago, and so it was a little loose when I poured that in there. So now we're just going to wait. Um, we're going to wait maybe five minutes and just let that oil kind of collect itself. Um, oil is nonpolar so all of the oil molecules will bind together and they'll kind of collect on that surface. Then once we've waited for like I said about five minutes we'll go ahead and we'll drain off the water and then we'll, we'll collect our oil. Perfect, okay so it's been about five minutes we're just going to drain off this water in the hydrosol and I'm having Cynthia film because I need to use both hands. So as we drain off that water, you'll notice that the oil on top, as it is filtered down into the smaller and smaller space, become more and more visible, which is pretty cool. We can repeat this process several times in order to get the most oil. Okay, so at this point you want to go very slow. We're just getting it down at the very end before it goes through and then we'll cap it off. I'm going to remove this. And I'm just going to collect this. And in the morning, 
morning since it's getting late. I'll go, th I'll go through and um, right now I'm just going to pour my hydrosol back in my separating flask and let that sit overnight and collect the oil. And then I'll do the, I'll repeat the same process again but since we're running short on time. I'll just leave that there. That's pretty much it. This is uh, pure peppermint oil, what we collected already. So not a whole lot on the first go, but the more you do it, the more oil you can collect. I'll probably go to the garden and get some more in tomorrow.